from the Home Slice News Center. This is the Daily Slice for Wednesday, July 31st of 2024. I'm Amy Rose, and this is what's going on. The State Department of Transportation is rally ready as they have turned on their temporary traffic signals around the area for the upcoming Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. To help accommodate for the expected increased traffic, temporary speed reductions and traffic devices were placed throughout Sturgis. Along with traffic devices, the Department of Transportation activated temporary traffic signals along Highway 34 and Interstate Exits 32 and 55. The traffic signals are now fully operational and will be in place until August 12th. Speed limits will also be reduced in some areas of I-90, Highway 34, and Highway 79 beginning August 1st until August 11th. With only days before the start of a new school year, South Dakota is still short on teachers. Here's Gary Matthews with the details. With less than a month before most schools in South Dakota start, there are still 353 teacher openings across the state, almost 100 more openings than last year. The current openings include teachers, but also tech directors, librarians, paraprofessionals, and support staff. Rapid City School District has six teaching positions open, including middle school math and social studies, and high school math, art, and at-risk credit recovery. In national and international news, Hamas's top political leader Ismail Hanya was killed in an airstrike in Tehran, Hamas, and Iran say, blaming Israel. The shocking assassination risk escalating the conflict even as the U.S. and other nations were scrambling to prevent an all-out regional war. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei vowed revenge against Israel over killing a dear guest hours after Hania attended the inauguration of Iran's new president. Israel has not commented on the strike, but it has vowed to kill Hania and other leaders of Hamas over the group's October 7th attack on Israel that killed 1,200 people. Boeing has a new CEO. The company said Wednesday that aerospace industry veteran Robert Kelly Ortberg will take over as CEO next week, replacing David Calhoun. Boeing is announcing the new CEO as it reports a loss of more than $1.4 billion in the second quarter. The loss was wider and revenue was lower than Wall Street expected. Revenue fell 15 percent from a year earlier and both Boeing's commercial airplanes business and defense unit lost money. The disappointing results come at a tumultuous time for Boeing. The company agreed to plead guilty this month to a federal fraud charge in connection with its 737 MAX jetliner and two crashes that killed 346 people. And the Olympic triathlons were held Wednesday after days of delays and uncertainty over water quality concerns in the Seine River. Organizers said the latest test of the famed Paris waterway showed compliance with quality standards. Elevated levels of bacteria delayed the men's race from Tuesday. The decision to go ahead with the scene swim for the triathlon competitions is a big win for the city and Olympic organizers. They undertook a more than billion dollar plan to clean up the long polluted scene and have been steadfast in their insistence that swimming events could safely be held in the river. In your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center, hazy again, 88 for a high today, 69 overnight. That was your Daily Slice for Wednesday, July 31st of 2024. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by Amy Rose with Gary Matthews, executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm Amy Rose. Have a great day.